It is the most traveled bridge in the country and a key route for interstate commerce, but today it was crippled for hours. The crash between two semi-trucks killed one of the drivers and injured the other. The wreckage so bad it took 10 hours to clear, and that cheated a traffic nightmare, rather created a traffic nightmare for morning commuters. The lanes were finally reopened just before noon. Here's a live look on the left. As you see the bridge right now, traffic is route moving smoothly. CBS to Sonia Rincon live now in Fort Lee with more for us. Sonia. Maurice, right now you can see normal afternoon rush hour traffic, but this morning there was only one lane open for a few minutes at a time on that upper deck because of that accident. So you can imagine how it choked traffic right at the bridge. It backed up all roads leading to it from Bergen County to the Bronx and beyond. The crash happened at 2.15 in the morning. One full-size tractor trailer rear-ended the other so hard it looked like a tandem, and it paralyzed bridge traffic in both directions for more than nine hours. Terrible morning. Terrible morning. Never experienced this. It was especially hard for truck drivers. They have to take the upper level. I mean, there's nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do. Traffic's not going nowhere, and I need a crush, so... There's like, if I get another different route, it won't make any difference. From either side, you could see traffic at a standstill in one direction, empty lanes in the other. The last closed lane on the upper level didn't reopen until just before noon. It took nine hours because this was an accident investigation with a fatality, which is not just your standard accident investigation. We took that time to make sure that we had the, the scene catalog properly, photographs, measurements. The driver killed was in this tractor trailer carrying refrigerators registered to Herman Leasing in New Brunswick. It hit this truck registered to a North Carolina company carrying poultry and ended up underneath the poultry truck. We needed to bring in some extra heavy equipment to make sure that we could get those vehicles separated. While that was happening, drivers and passengers were going nowhere. The passengers, what am I worried about then? They need to go to work like everybody else. Tay Drayton needed to open up a shop on the other side. It looks like I'm going to be late. <laughs> and my phone just died, so yeah, like, it's just all bad. And Miguelina Rodriguez made a last-ditch awkward U-turn to get off the bridge. I was just going to Ikea, so it's not vital. I, I just feel bad for the people that actually have to work. Even the walkway was closed while investigators did what they had to do. And if you're hoping this will be the last time for a while that you hear about traffic jams on the bridge, sorry to say the Port Authority has some work planned next week. Starting Monday for the next 12 weeks on the upper level, it's going to be closing one direction at a time, again, on that upper level for 12 weeks. Live in Fort Lee, Sonia Rincon, CBS 2 News.